Hello and welcome to another plan with me in my classic happy planner with a line vertical layout. I'm planning for the week of the 18th of May to the 24th and I'm using this kit from Tralala Stickers. Uh, it is her garden kit. It's very cute. This kitty cat is just adorable. So this is the kit that you get. Um, I love the colours, really bright, really vibrant, just really generally a nice kit all round. So I'm going to pop my inserts out and we'll get into planning. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to pop the date covers onto this top washi. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to admit something. I have become one of those over 30s that you see on TikTok. Okay, I said it. I am over 30 and I'm on TikTok. Now, in my defense, we are in quarantine. There is not a lot to do. But I'm kind of obsessed with it. it it's it's a lot of fun. Um, and <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of doggies on there. I love the dogs. So <laughs> I haven't posted anything yet. I don't know. I might start posting some like little planner videos. But I just at the moment, I'm just having a lot of fun watching everyone else. And I think that's, you know, that's really what TikTok is about. It's about that fun. It's just about enjoying yourself a bit. You know, not taking everything so seriously. And after the past couple of weeks, I think that's really what I need. It's just a, a little bit of fun. So, yeah, I am on TikTok. Um... My kids are also on TikTok and um, yeah, <laughs> let's just say that it, they get a bit annoyed with me being on TikTok more than they are, but it's kind of addictive because um, you, you don't realise just how much time you're putting in there, you know, you, you're there and you're like, I'll oh, just watch a couple and then you keep going up and up. And the next thing you know, you've like killed an hour. It's kind of like a really easy version of going down the YouTube rabbit hole. You know the one I'm talking about where you're sitting there, you're watching a YouTube video, and then you watch another one, and the next one, and the next one, and then you look at your clock, and it's 3 a.m. and you haven't been to sleep yet, and you've got to be up in five hours, in four hours, three hours, or however long it is, I don't know. Math is not functioning <laughs> lately with me. So, yeah, TikTok. Hi. I apologise now. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, but, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, and you can see people are having a lot of fun with it. They're not taking themselves too seriously. I mean, there are some really nasty comments on some of the videos. And I think that's really... that That is kids. They think, oh, in order to prove that I'm grown up, I have to be nasty. And I just don't understand why. You know, you, you don't... If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. That's what my mother always told me. And I stick by that. You know, unless you come after and attack my family, I will leave you alone. But there are people commenting on videos of kids, you know, little babies doing cute little baby things, commenting going, that kid's ugly. Well, excuse me, maybe you need to look in a mirror because that kid's cute. You're the one who's got the issue, darling. So, yeah, that's my little rant on that. But I do, I think it's really, you know, people who can't be nice online, it shows more about them as a person than it does about anything else. So, 
and I know I've got it all to come. Um, my channel is still small at the moment, but I know that as it starts to grow, the nastiness is going to come out. People, There's going to be somebody who's got something nasty to say. And the important thing is, how do you deal with that as a person? And that's something that I'm trying to teach my children at the minute. Is, one, don't be that person. Don't be that person that's going to leave a nasty comment on somebody's YouTube video or TikTok or whatever. Be the better person. But two... If somebody isn't able to control themselves, if they are some sort of animal who doesn't know how to resist the impulse, then how do you deal with that? How, how do you as a person grow from that? And I've seen a few people um, sort of, they, they take it really hard. I didn't want to put that one there. I want to put that one there. Let's see if I can get this up. See, I'm not even focusing, am I? This is something I'm struggling with at the moment. It's staying focused. But we'll get onto that in a minute. Um, what was I talking about? TikTok. TikTok nastiness. Well, just general online nastiness. You know, so it's just like teaching the kids. How do you be more than that? And I think it comes down to self-esteem. If you are so threatened by somebody else doing something fun and enjoying themselves, then that says a lot about you and a lot less about them. You know, you have to have felt threatened to think that putting that comment is gonna do anything. But you also don't know what's going on behind closed doors. And that, that's the one thing that I always try and stress to my children is you don't know what's happening behind that video, behind that smile. I'm very open. I'll tell you guys that I'm having a good week. I'm having a bad week. I talk to you guys about it because this is how I'm dealing with it. Now, somebody's going to come on here one day and go, stop moaning gosh your life is so perfect stop moaning yeah i kind of that's every time i see a nasty comment or i read a nasty comment that's how you sound in my head so you know somebody's gonna come along one day and they're gonna go you have no right to be upset you have no right to be down you have no right and they're gonna tell me what my rights are because I apparently don't know what my rights are. Um, they're gonna tell me I have no right to be upset. I have no right to do this or that. They're gonna comment on the way that I speak. They're gonna comment on my nails, on all sorts of things. I've seen it, I've seen it on other planner videos and that's a sad thing. So I've seen those comments. But how do I deal with them? How am I going to deal with them? And that, that's, something that you need to sort of think about now some youtubers straight up delete those comments as soon as they find them they'll just take them off and they won't let that give that negativity any attention walk away great i've seen some people who will take that negativity and kill it with kindness so, um, and the one that I love the most is uh, one of the YouTubers I was watching, she was doing a clean with me and the person in the post was like, oh my God, your hair is such a mess. You know, could you have not put a brush through it before you started your video? And she responded in the best way she came back with thank you for pointing that out to me by the way your hair and your picture looks amazing and she just shut them down with kindness she was so kind to them and 
I think sometimes that's what we need to do. We need to kill the kill the comments with kindness. The, the other option is I've seen people be nasty back. And the minute you do that, you kind of lose any higher ground. You, you, you become something, I don't know, you, you just don't have the same sway anymore. You, you sunk to their level. I'm going to use these work stickers on here just to mark that hubby has work. Um, I've put that half box down and I'm going to get a fuzz balls here. Uh, pizza time because we are going to be making our own pizzas. If I can grab them. So yeah, pizza time fuzz ball because we're going to make our own pizzas. And then I am working on I did question I'm working on question seven and I have thought about it because there's not enough like of these I'm gonna use the dinner ones but I'm just gonna put a little flourish over them to mark what question I'm working on for my course I'm really enjoying it it is so fascinating um, so yeah I'm really really enjoying my course and I am looking at doing another one about mental health. So that is something as well. So I'm going to put this little bow over the knife and fork. There we go. Um, so Tuesday, hubby is at work again. And use one of the ones that hasn't folded over. Um, and I'm doing question eight. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on the, the numbers for these questions yet, but I'm going to be doing a question, so let's go with a part. There we go. Um, and then I want to put the dishwasher on to clean. So from Managing Mischief Co, I've got these little dishwashers and I'm going to use this, use this pink glitter box here. I'm going to pop one of these down to mark that the dishwasher needs to go on a clean. And then Wednesday, hubby's at work again. I'm going to put that right on the bottom. Um, I'm doing question... I've got college work to do. I'm going to just put it that way because I can never remember what question I'm on. So I'm just going to pop this one here. And I'm going to get a pink bow. Yeah, I'm going to go with a pink bow. There we go. Um, and then... I want to also use this half box here. Because we're going to have. Oh, that has gone out. Way weird. Still weird. Come on. Let's see. Third time a charm. Come on. Let me move it up into the light and I'll be able to see it a bit better. There we go. Third time's a charm. And I want to um starting my new book, so I'll just pop that in there. Okay, let's move on to part two of the week. I love this kitty cat. Isn't she just adorable? Do you just love him to bits and pieces because he's so cute? 
I am a huge cat person, by the way. So, yeah, there's that. Um, pop the birdhouse here. So, big, big cat person. Um, we have three. I probably told you all about them before, but they are just my fur babies, and I love them, and I don't care. I will talk about them forever. But, um, yeah. So, we've got three cats. We've got Azarath, Crowley, and Megatron. Um... Azarath is my husband named her before we go any further um, and he watches Teen Titans Go now I'm a Teen Titans fan he's a Teen Titans Go fan we kind of clash on that a little bit but oh well such is life you just keep going um, and so anyway in Teen Titans Go um, Raven has a spell that she says, and it's Azerath Metrion Zinthus, I think. Um, so that's where Azerath came from. Then we have Crowley, who I named, um, and he's Azerath's sis, a brother. Um, when we went, when I went to the Cat's Protection to go and. See see him because he was the one that I'd seen online and fell in love with because he was just this big fluffy black and white kitty cat um, and when I went in he was there with his little sister who was this beautiful little black cat and of course the problem with um, my little one and she'd seen Azeroth and just picked her up and that was it she wanted to go home she'd got a kitten under each arm and she wanted to go home with those kittens so we'd gone to get one, we came home with two. <laughs> so yeah, so she was, so Crowley was, as is Azarath's brother. Um, and I named him after Crowley from uh, Good Omens and Supernatural. Um, so that, that's Crowley. And then we have Megatron who was our very first rescue cat. Um, when we rescued him, he was about a year old. Um, and they actually originally thought he was feral. They thought him and his brothers were feral. But his brothers um, all came out of their shells quite quickly. He didn't, he just, he was terrified of everything. So I think something happened to him, particularly, um, that made him very distrusting of people. Um, and he was pitch black, and I fell in love with him the minute I saw him, I had to have him. And they were like, well, you know, he's gonna, he, he's very shy, he's, he's not, I, was, I don't care, I want him, he's, he's, that's my cat. Can I have my cat, please? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I came home with this cat who was terrified of everything, but after sitting for hours in my kitchen, reading aloud and things like that, he finally decided, okay, you know what, this, this person isn't so bad. And he, he came out and he would talk to me and eventually he turned into the, the loving cat we are. He is still terrified of people he does not know. And I don't think that's ever going to change. But, you know, we are very, very happy that he is our baby. Um, so I'm going to put down my little thing here to mark for my course. And I'm going to stick a heart on that. And then I'm going to put down this glittery box. And I'm going to pop down a grocery shopping bag because hubby is going to have to go and do a grocery run on Thursday. So I'm going to put 
put that down there. Moving on to Friday, I'm going to pop down this half box here. The um, this other blue one, and my sticker sheets are sticking together. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to stick this one here, and that is going to be to mark movies. Um, you want to watch Captain Marvel? I have started watching the Marvel Cinematic Universe through again. Um, I started Captain America, so I'm going to be watching. Oh, pardon me, I'm going to be watching Captain Marvel. Um, I'm also going to be doing some work, so let's pop in my little thing and get my little thing off the sheet. You know what? I'm just going to use this one. <laughs> Duh. Okay, and we're going to stick a blue bow on that. I broke that one. I did not mean to do that. So let's try that again. Stick a bow there. Uh, Saturday, again, I'm going to be doing whatever the question is. Um, so Saturday we're going to do some gaming. I want to use, I'm going to use this pink half box, and then I've got these gaming stickers from Happy Cutie Studio. I'm going to use this blue. No, yeah, I'm going to use the blue one just to mark that we're going to get some gaming done. And then Sunday, I want to change the sheets on the bed. So I'm going to grab that, stick it there, and then I'm going to use this little bed here to mark that I want to change the sheets. And these are from Happy Q Studios as well. Okay, so I'm going to stick this back in my planner. I have got some deco pieces, so I've got these bits here and these here. I'm going to pop some of those around and then I'll bring you back to show you what's left. I've got those left, those bits there, that bit there, that bit there, and this is the money shot. This is my planner all set up with the deco ready to go. I absolutely love it. I love these kitty cats. I love the little bird houses. It just looks really nice. It's really bright, really colourful. So, yeah. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more like this, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, we'll see you again next week. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Bye-bye now.